Hey guys, so today I just want to show you a quick introduction to 3D code and how to import objects uh, so you can paint them in 3D code. So when you first open 3D code, you're going to get uh, this window which you don't really have to uh, worry about. Um, all the options that you find in the window here, you can also find from the file. It's pretty much the uh, same options. So I'm just going to close this. So the first thing that you may want to learn about 3d code is that the navigation is exactly like maya so you don't have to learn anything new there um, but if you want to change or try out the other navigations that they have you can come over the uh this window there's a drop down here and if you set the custom navigation you can choose 3d code you can choose maya soft much and zbrush like Mine is left to 3D code. I feel that it's really similar to Maya anyways, so it works pretty well. Another thing that I like to do uh, when opening 3D code for the first time is to change the background. I just don't like the colors that they use. Uh, so to do that, you can go under the same drop down, but go to background and you can choose the top color, the, button, the bottom color, so you can change the background color and you can even use an image if you want to so that's uh, pretty much that um, so let's go ahead and import our object for painting so this is how you import something for painting as you may know 3d code has different windows and different applications that you can use such as uh, retopping doing uvs doing sculpting and some of those require a different importing a uh, way of importing things so if you go to file go to import and we want to get a model to paint so we're going to choose the first option and just pick your model and you're going to get this window here and you really for the most part don't really have to worry about any of the options here uh, so for like normal map you could if you were to import a normal map anyway you're still gonna get the option to choose where you got your normal map from so and we're not importing that right now so it doesn't really matter so i would say ignore all the options here except for the uh, uh, size of the document so so you can see you have different sizes set mine to 2048 which is pretty big you can also rename your UV set if you want to, or you can leave it as it is. So with that said, you can go ahead and click on OK. And then you're going to see your model in 3D code. So a few things uh, before I wrap up this video. Um, is Let's go over some of the UI things here within 3D code as they pertain to painting. So number one, we are in the paint room. So everything, all the tools here uh, relate to painting. Um, also, if you used Photoshop, which you probably have, you'll see that the tools have been arranged in a way that it looks like Photoshop. And most of the tools here are similar to the ones in Photoshop. So that's pretty good. That's the good thing about 3D code. Uh, it's that their tools are really similar and familiar. So you have the layers section that's almost exactly like Photoshop as well, uh, where you can create layers, make folders, uh, move up or down your layers, delete them. So when you import your model, you're going to start with two layers that are more or less empty. Um, so you can start with your base layer and then just keep making new layers as you go. So you have your opacity. Uh, depth opacity that relates to a bit of it's not sculpting necessarily it's more like uh creating a bit of a normal map and then you have roughness which is the specular uh, pbr naming convention here and metalness which is the same but we don't want to worry about those because we're just going to be working with painting or at least that's what i'm covering here Anyway, so we have layer blending, which uh, gives you a few more options to your layers and how do you blend them together. Paint objects, it shows the objects that you have in the scene. Uh, I don't think the defaults anything, and then this one's the one I imported. 
surface materials, same thing. If your object has multiple materials applied to it, when you export it from Maya or Max or wherever, it's going to show all your different materials here and you can hide them uh, some parts depending on the materials that you have set up. So that's pretty much all I'm going to cover for now. Um, I'm going to have another video on how to get set up and how to start painting within 3D code. Show some of the tools that I like to use and that I've seen people use. So yeah, that's pretty much, it's pretty much covers the, uh, just a quick intro on how to import something into 3D codes.